Hello loves, welcome back to Wander Tarot and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'll be tapping into Libra's energy for your general reading for July 2024 until your next reading. And I'll be pulling your current strength and current challenge, digging a little bit deeper and pulling some guidance for you. Keep in mind that these are general readings so they may not resonate with you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for others. the ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Libra. Thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them thus far, and I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Please let me be a channel to bring them the messages that are trying to find them at this time. There will be timestamps in the description in case you want to skip the shuffling. I'll do my best to keep those times accurate for you. Ancestors, archetypes, guides, universe. What is the overall energy for Libra's current strength right now at this time? What is Libra's current overall strength for the rest of July until the next reading? And what is their overall energy for their current challenge at this time, Spirit or Libra? And what part of Libra's life is hunger going to resonate the most for them at this time for their current strength? One card upright. And what part of Libra's life is hunger going to resonate the most for their strength? part of Libra's life is mystery going to resonate the most for their current challenge? For Libra, for the rest of July, until their next reading, what part of their life is mystery going to resonate the most? part of their lives. So there's either <laughs> there's either delay in cards coming out or a bunch that want to come out at the same time. So there may be a lot to the unknown at this time. At least that may resonate for some of you. Spirit mystery for Libra for their challenge what part of their life
cards upright or reverse spirit. Nothing off the ground. What else with the hair font? And hunger for Libra's current strength at this time. Three cards upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. What else with the four of disc and ten of disc with mystery? For Libra for their current challenge at this time. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put aside your challenge and I'm going to bring forth your current strength at this time. And we're going to focus on that first. Alright, so your overall energy for your current strength at this time is hunger. The part of your life that's going to resonate the most is the Hierophant. So whatever part of your life you feel like you are following rules, whether that's your own or rules within a, some sort of system, whether that's at work or a home situation, uh, it could be traditional views, it's... Um, whatever part of your life maybe that you are looking for where you feel like you have structure. you got with hunger and hair font here as your strength. You're probably creating or have created structure in your life routine maybe. Let's see what else comes out on that one. One card, upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. What can you tell us about the hair font in regards to the part of Libra's life that hunger is resonating the most for them for their current strength? We got the Two of Wands and the Knight of Wands in reverse. You may be involving yourself in some sort of passion project, so you could be getting yourself into a, wor a work situation, or getting into some sort of project or, or learning something here, something that is making you want to learn more, making you want to get involved more something because it's with the hair font I want to say it's maybe you having a passion project in your spirituality kind of trying to possibly dodge anything that feels like scattered energy or frustration you're kind of keeping yourself busy in ways that you feel purpose straying away from the energies that bring you down with the two of wands as well 
there's more progress and planning again kind of confirming your desire to make smart decisions to discover more you may be wanting to travel but you're being maybe a little logical about uh, where you would go so I'm not getting any far out plans to do a trip somewhere you've never been unless it's like a stay over or so but you are maybe wanting to visit places go back to places um, something about just possibly even maybe looking at traditional ways to move if it's not traditional it's more of just trying to figure out what works what has been known to work so if it's moving it's thinking of roommates because it's a logical way to help you plan and progress where you're trying to go with something here the details that spirit wanted to point out here for you Libra is the nine of pentacles in reverse the tower in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse so let's see what spirit has there spirit what can you tell me about the nine of pentacles for libra's strength at this time nine of pentacles One more. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Pentacles in reverse attached to the Nine of Pentacles. So it definitely looks like you have the desire to have a clear vision. You also may be coming out of some intense stuff here. You're now seeing things kind of play in a way that makes sense, where you feel like you're you're starting to feel like where you're you're where you're supposed to be. No matter what has happened, you're you're maybe in a space where you have a project like a projectory of like I don't know if I said that right um, trajectory. Because right now, you may be feeling out of your comfort zone here. Maybe there's some things that aren't lined up yet where you feel completely independent or aware. Maybe with your money. There's definitely this feeling of... A delay that might have happened for you but you've got the wheel of fortune here so it's almost like you're starting to see your own potential spirit what else can you tell us about the tower in reverse We've got the Four of Cups in reverse and the Death card in reverse. I'm sorry, and the Death card. So, with the Tower in reverse, there may be something here that did not come as 
to as a surprise. It's almost like you had a part in ending something here. You had a a part in the decision of putting something uh finishing up on something. So maybe I'm getting more of the tower in reverse being not a surprise, but still a big change, something that really still shook your perspective, like was was loud enough or intense enough to have affected the way you see or process the world or how you see yourself. Possibly how you see your potential in decision making, almost like something in, something intuitive here that something happened that you kind of already knew was going to happen like you knew it wasn't what you were seeing you knew that it was like done <laughs> to an extent when it arrived but it still did something that created a lesson or like a ripple effect that kind of motivated you to do something else that's for your future, for yourself, maybe more awareness that's going to assist you. Like maybe your strength right now is going more of a... Um, Maybe wanting to live by example for yourself is what I'm hearing. Not necessarily living f living for by example for other people. It's like for you to kind of show yourself how to be, how to how you can be, because it's you definitely getting out of a mindset, moving away from in and out energy indecisiveness doing things out of passion like being logical about if the passion that you're feeling is long term or short term here at the night you want more something more solid in, in all the parts of your life or in many parts of your life there's definitely a desire to shift to see something different feel something different feel it feel like you are living life differently than you have and in a better direction. Spirit, what's the Ace of Swords here for Libra? We got the Emperor and the Page of Swords. So you're definitely taking you're definitely taking some sort of understanding of a truth you already knew because I'm not getting this as as a lack of truth uh, and and when it's upright it's like an epiphany so again there's some something you already knew here that was like the cherry on top a confirmation for you regarding your your morals and your values and you are curious again trying to do more research or provide yourself with more education or ask more questions because you have the goal here to lead it whether in your own life or lead for other people around you or to be of assistance to to serve a purpose anywhere that you stand you are asking more questions, you're being more curious, you are again having this desire to understand more, to utilize what you have just witnessed or what you are experiencing now, what's coming up. So if it's a pattern or a cycle that's come up here, for some reason it just feels like you're putting down that cycle. I've never looked at a pinnacle 
and thought of the Wheel of Fortune, but with these two cards next to each other attached to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, it's almost like you're understanding what takes away from your sense of codependency or what feeds insecurities or doubt. You're putting that down here. And you may be doing that by raising your confidence in other ways here, by putting passion into the things that are going to be possibly by like something to do with societal norms. So if you're putting work as a priority right now, it's in it's in the goal of getting your confidence back and money, getting your confidence back and leading, getting rid of scattered energy, coming up with routines. So it's almost like there's a step or something that you're doing or a shift that you're moving into that's like a domino effect. And that's creating this overall shift in perspective and a shift in what you are seeing more clearly on in regards to priorities at this time. What's asking for your attention. I'm going to put the clarifiers back just in case they want to come back out as we go into your challenge and I try to keep them general because they can get very specific if I were to go deeper and I think I'm going to wait until people start sharing how it resonates because if there's kind of a pattern there I think that'll be kind of the sign for me to be more detailed that that's something that you all are looking for and if you're not if you don't want to share your story feel free to at least let me know if it did resonate or if some of it did. If it's, if it's not resonating at all, don't try to make it fit. So moving into your current challenge at this time, Libra, for July, the rest of July until your next reading, your current challenge is mystery, the part of your life that that's going to resonate the most. Two cards came out, four of discs and the ten of discs. So the part of your life where you feel like you're, you're feeling more secure and stable where you're feeling fulfilled here, like you're building something for yourself, but maybe with money, something is tight here. So that is, uh, it is possible that it's in the part of your life where you feel like you are definitely enjoying what you're spending your money on and really it's like actually feeding your soul. But, uh, it, it's starting to get a little tight in the wallet. If it's not that, it could be for some of you really wanting to maintain, keep a hold, the part of your life where you're really gripping on to your stability. You've worked really hard to get to this place where you feel like you're breathing again, you've got more room in your lungs. And just not wanting to lose that, not wanting, uh, I hear, not wanting the other shoe to drop. One thing I do notice is the eyes and the butterfly wings in the background. It's kind of just like 
hoping that there's transformation, hoping that that's around the corner. I kind of, it kind of feels like in this description, it's the first time I've ever seen it like this, it looks like he's holding out bait with that pentacle for this transformation. So for some of you, it's just maybe the part of your life where you're really digging deeper into these gems, right? Like these moments, these experiences that really bring stability and fulfillment into your being. Spirit, what, uh, what can you tell us about the Ten of Discs here? What does that represent for the part of Libra's life that mystery is going to resonate the most for their challenge? So there's some unknown here, not not knowing where things are leading up, possibly questioning your some of your decisions, trying to trying to do something right here. All right, so we've got the Ten of Swords here, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. So there may have been something again that happened some sort of something fell through here that possibly pushed you in a direction to not overcompensate i'm not getting like like a rebound like a like a, like a spiritual bypassing thing i'm getting more of there's something here that if it wasn't painful, there was still some like deep wounds that were affected, like some some triggers, right? Some something came to the surface that did not feel good. A feeling of loss here that is attached to your desire to do things to feed your soul, right? To become more aware within your 3D realm. Spirit, what can you tell us about the four discs for the part of Libra's life that's gonna leap, that mystery is going to resonate the most? Yeah, we've got the devil. So maybe being a little fixated on, if not necessarily fixated, there's something here that... It's possible that you are, you have some destructive behavior, and 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 when I say that, I feel it is highlighting um, impulse, impulsivity. Um, something that's with the devil is seduce and it did come out here for me when I first looked was that he was like kind of baiting this transformation meanwhile not really wanting to give up any of these other baits it's almost like he's trying this one time there's some temptations here and it could be it could be money related Libra to where you're tempted to kind of do things that cost money that will you know experiences that do provide you in fact beautiful energy that you can really like utilize the challenge may be one not knowing how to do that without possibly spending money if it's not money, it's definitely trying to avoid getting back in a place where you feel bound to money, like your relationship with money. The details that Spirit wanted to point out here was the Empress, the Three of Wands, and the King of Cups. So 
so in your challenge there may be this trying to be more mature in your emotions but there's like some emotions coming up here with the challenge being mystery like when that when you think of the unknown or when you don't have all the answers and you try to fill in the cracks there may be this overcompensating on that end um, trying to with the three of wands here right kind of coming up arriving and there's the waves are definitely happening you've got the king of cups who has waves all around him so the first imagery I have is the king of cups being on this ship so there's this sense of needing to be on the ship versus just looking at it just waiting for it there's like action that's being asked of you to continue to take and with the Empress in reverse you may be leaning over to your masculine side a little bit more um, nurturing in a in a more na masculine way than than a motherly way um, not really wanting to entertain certain things that are that don't make you feel welcome and then having that again curiosity on having to experience something to find out if you are welcome in a space not knowing if you tr you know when you try something new not knowing if that's something that is going to add value to your life I'm hearing again being curious on when the shoe's gonna drop because there may be something that is going well in the midst of something else having a turning point that is affecting you in a negative way so there's like this contradictive energy of not knowing how things are going to pan out um, not wanting to have this sense of stability end or come to a completion not wanting to or, or having the difficulty in really keeping your your knuckles white here gripping on to things to make you feel the sensation of transformation of evolving of growth And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but for it to be a challenge with mystery, I think it's just you kind of doing things in moments out of not knowing more. Spirit, what's the Empress here in reverse for Libra for their challenge? Three cards came out here. We've got Judgment in reverse. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. And the Ten of Cups, clarifying the Empress. Yeah, I think there's like some difficulty here in whatever happened here that messed with your sense of self, that made you curious of maybe your part in it, or wondering why something even occurred at all because of how quick it came in and out possibly. Feeling like you're not getting the message here. Being curious if you if you're not receiving the message. But 
but there's still a sense here that you're kind of pulling, you keep pulling yourself out of it, so at this time it might not be that easy to access the Empress within you, right, that is your card, so maybe you're just not feeling like yourself at this time because something messed with your psyche in a way here, and it, you may be making, you, you may be judgmental right now about someone or something or a situation or having moments where you are judging yourself, again questioning your part in something, but you are, and maybe it's that what you're questioning your part in is some sort of emotional fulfillment here. Maybe at, at one point you felt like you were safe and something was, something's making you, putting you in a space to be judgmental about a situation that took you out of your element, that tested you in a way that may, that uh, kind of gave you the energies to push yourself out of the element versus somebody else making that happen. It's It could have just been a certain energy that kind of poked something that was already there within you and you pushing yourself out of that I don't really want to do this anymore attitude like why, what am I doing here? Did I do, um, um, it's like, did I do something wrong? All, and then the next second you're completely confident in the choice that you made or the thing that you said. And with mystery being the overall energy for the challenge, it's just being really curious on maybe why you feel so many different ways based on like what certain thoughts are coming up in that moment. Uh, for the Three of Wands spirit for Libra, universe for the rest of July until their next reading spirit. What can you tell us about the Three of Wands? Alright, so we got the Emperor in reverse and the Lovers. So, definitely not feeling in in control here possibly feeling out of your element possibly regarding a connection with this being on your challenge side and like the imagery of the king of cups was supposed to be on the ship but there's the character on shore there may be you wanting you you wanting to take a back seat here because you don't have enough answers to make you feel confident about making particular choices or moves in some sort of connection. And if it's not a particular connection, it's like in general, wondering if you are ready, you know, did whatever that fell through was that a sign with the judgment card in reverse not knowing if you're reading the signs right wondering if you if if what had happened was a sign for you to wait or go for it it put you in a space of not knowing was it a sign for me to go for it? Was it a sign for me to back out of it? Should I fight for it or should I stay, right? Should I be on this ship making that movement or should I be the one that waits for it to come to me? Spirit, what can you tell us about the King of Cups here? 
We had four cup, four cards that came out. So we've got the Five of Cups in reverse, the Magician, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the Three of Wands in reverse, attached to the King of Cups. So the King of Cups here with the Three of Wands in reverse, right? It's right next to the Three of Wands upright. I want to say that you don't feel emotionally balanced when you are waiting. So maybe there's this, there's information that's coming through because you feel like you're waiting when you're desiring movement. You don't want to look at the times that you've learned what it looks like when something fell through. So on your strength side, you were very intuitive, almost psychic, about something that was going to happen, and it happened. And there's this sense of curiosity as well as letting go. But this hesitation of wondering if do I create the movement in this direction and with this? It's maybe it's some different facets of your life where you're having some difficulty here deciding on which direction to go with what. Not knowing really how to use the tools you have, but the awareness that you have the tools in the first place I think is why you're your strength was wanting to find out, doing, you know, taking risks, doing doing what you have to do to just get that confirmation, to have more information. Everything's information. That's what it seems like you are, you're trying, you know, your perspective, your way of thinking is kind of shifting in a way where you're, you're understanding that everything is information and you're trying to utilize that thought, that process. Alright, I'm going to move into your guidance here and see what spirit has for you, Libra. What guidance do you have here for Libra this time? For the rest of July until their next reading. Spirit Guides Universe. So with shuffling the cards too, right, there was either no cards coming out or all of them were trying to come out at the same time so maybe you're feeling kind of opposite ends of the spectrum regarding movement and then stagnancy and wanting to feel that in between wanting that pendulum to rest one card spirit please what guidance do you have for Libra at this time Yeah. <laughs> None or all. Maybe that's another thing. It's uh, all or nothing. You don't want to spread yourself out too thin to the wrong areas. Maybe you're trying to work towards wanting to put your energy into only where, where it will be fed or nurtured, welcomed. Oh, we got one. All right. So the ocean definitely came up with the three of wands and the uh, king of cups.
I'm gonna read for you and see what spirit has for you. Alright, so Libra, bridges are... I'm sorry, that was... <laughs> this is what happens when I read in the dark. Alright, I got the ocean. Alright, Libra, the power of the ocean is unmatched. To step into its salty waters is to step into the unknown. By its sheer volume, the ocean represents the unconscious, all that is beyond our understanding. We cannot live within the ocean. We cannot claim it, manage it, or own it. It rejects our every attempt to dominate nature. Yet, amid its overwhelming power, it calls to us, inspires us, and invigorates our life on land. It dissolves the quote-unquote little us into the quote-unquote big us. When the energy of the ocean is present, there is change stirring that is beyond any change you've known before. The ego must dissolve. The Selene swells work on your very cells, your fibers, your deepest underlying beliefs. Like Aphrodite, we rise from the ocean's froth, a new being. Life is change. Let the wave crash. The ocean displays every emotion without shame to witness its glassy, moonlit surface and its unforgiving storms is to know the full spectrum of the human experience. So something that I have really, really believed in and always have found myself saying in many readings is that the point of life is to experience it all. Things that we can't experience as spirit. Things that we can only experience in this vessel, right? With this brain and memories and this lifetime and, and pain and tears and trauma and beautiful blessings and um, ecstasy, right? Just all of it. Like it's all information. It's all purposeful. So a suggestion in the book for this card, steady waves, touch their surface, get in the water no matter where you live. Each drop is part of the whole. The ocean is in every tear. So there's definitely this energy on your challenge side and with the guidance coming up to get into your emotions, right? If you feel some type of way, there's something here that Spirit's asking you to study. And... With my dog going deeper into her dream here that may resonate with some of you too is to kind of get back into allowing yourself to dream for yourself right find creative ways to process your feelings to understand them to integrate them into your 3d There's so much information and knowledge around you all the time. And I think Spirit's here asking you to kind of look around, look up. Look around you. Right? Pay attention to what the animals are doing. Pay attention to the weather. The, you know, certain breeze that comes by. There's something here that's asking for you to be in the present, for you to... Trust that you are where you are supposed to be, even if that is in confusion. And that that's information. And in your strength side, Libra, you're already curious and educating yourself and digging deeper. So you're on the right track. 
All right, loves, that's what I have for you for now. Until next time, and always sending you love. And Libra, you've got this.